Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring and it is literally a good morning. Well, a good afternoon I would say when you talk about time, but when it comes to the weather, uh, according to the weather app it says it's, it is currently like 13 degrees or something, but it feels as if it is like 20 plus after like a week of frost etc. So today we're gonna do a couple of errands, it's going to be like a vlog vlog, we're gonna do also a couple of interesting updates regarding the Cupra race car, we're gonna try to spot the GT3 Cup car that are doing their rollouts you can probably maybe hear them from here well for the first time actually I'm not that really uh, bothered by the fact that the birds are more loud than the race cars because uh, th this will come up later uh, but a few updates as you can see here we have all the cars lined up here because cars are coming out of the winter storage in the past they were well in the past last week they were still stored up but now let's have a quick look gt86 is out here it has new stickers the Pimoli, endless jrz protract nankang all of our partners dodo juice as well our detailing partner they have a new logo which i really like because now it kind of looks like a dodo before that it was I don't know, I would even call, I would say Maori type of thing, which is also cool, but now it's more, more re relatable to Dodo. Um, Polo, same story, but more importantly, I would say we swapped from red stickers to silver. So kind of a subtle rebranding. I think it really fits the car nicely. BMW M2, not much to be said. However, yesterday they replaced the windscreen because there was a very tiny crack in there, but in the winter, water went there, ice broke completely, so it had to be replaced by United Autoglass, the same guys who did the Golf well window replacement, very cool. License plate, this is the temporary license plate. Um, already expired but the car was not going anywhere it was always on our property anyway so we need to replace it by the permanent one now because the car will be fully in motion and service and action so this is what we are going to do uh, for the more we have of course the m4 requires no further introduction um, also just like small rebranding when it comes to stickers with the new partners but other than that also needs a license plate but looks very good all the cars have received nice detailing and care package from pete so they're very soft you can like really uh, i wish i could transcend it through the camera uh 218 our very interesting car when it comes to yeah it's perfect as it is there is no, nothing we can replace it with so we're just gonna leave it as it is and uh, until uh, the wheels fall off in a hopefully not literal sense but uh, we're gonna keep on driving it enjoying it looking forward to uh, going out in all of them and now comes the question which car should i take for my very first lap of the nervacring notch life at the rest of art in 2021 which is going to happen next week i don't know so much choice definitely not the ring tractor because it is still stock it's even worse than stock because engines leaking boost yada yada we saw how it went last time so something of this you can suggest it to me in the comments maybe yards again maybe not m3 hmm well, if Robert would be here, he is actually coming back, so maybe we're gonna go in this. Uh, we will see if he's gonna come for the first weekend of TF, but I'm definitely, without a doubt, am excited to do some laps with the E30. Um, then, of course, the Mark IV gang, Mark IV gang, uh, and further on, we have the ring tractor itself. Is this? Hmm, not the X631, but E31. I don't know. Do we, do we have another Mark IV? I mean, it's it could be. Do you know whose golf it is? Bora. Bora? Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeet. Of course. Because because there's also an X631 golf, and that belongs to stateside supercars. Uh, Cupra has received all the glasses, all the windows, also by United uh, Auto Glass. So thank you for that. Amazing service. Uh, front window, the side window. So now the car can be parked outside and not take up any spots. Furthermore, not much to be said about it yet. However, we are going to be fitting the seat later in today's video as well. But now I need to run to Monte Racing to film tomorrow's video. So let's do quickly that. Will you even start? Not too bad. Cannot wait to put the new engine in this. This is absolute badassery.
So, a fast forward to Manta Racing, as you can see, we're gonna film a very cool video that hopefully you'll be able to see tomorrow. Very much looking forward to share that one with you. But, first a couple of updates. The previous fragment you saw was filmed at building that you formerly know as Rentec, but the sign is gone. Hmm. And more on that you will see in Saturday's video, hopefully, or Sunday's at least. And then look at this, the roundabout. Look at the massive hole. Now, previously I said that the roundabout belonged to Black Falcon, but apparently it's been sold to Bilstein. So here is going to be some sort of Bilstein Development Center. Uh, more on that at some point. I should hook up Bilstein and ask him what's up. But now let's go and see if we can put some mods on the ring tractor. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I missed the cup cars. Some other time then. Well, I guess in that case, let's take a closer look at the hole of the roundabout. Impressive. Really impressive. I wonder if they're gonna have some underground parking or if it's just basic foundation. All right, let's go home. Uh, who cares about GT3 cup car content? We love Dogo content. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, fast forward back to Apex, and as mentioned previously, we are going to fit myself in the seat of the Seat. Seat, 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 could be a nice pun, but I think uh, George wants just to go home and not listen to my puns, yeah. No, it's not home time yet. Oh, uh, not... I'm not going to sit here and sit, in, sit here and listen to your puns all day. Uh, okay, good. Um, so, how's the progress has been going on the... Stressful. Stressful. It's mainly to do with delivery times and COVID, delivery delays and just all that crap mm -hmm. um, along with a few other little problems because there's not been a Cooper 300 this this shell this shape as a VT2 or VT3 yet so yeah Golf 7 is a slightly different platform there's differences but yeah mm -hmm. so it's been a little bit of a challenge at the minute but at the moment we're just waiting to hear back from a lot of people DMSB including mm -hmm because we need to know actually what class we're going to be running. And they still haven't emailed me back, which is lit. Yeah, exactly. So, a uh, quick update. First of all, uh, apologies for not running extra mics. I was just lazy to go get her home and grab them, I know. Uh, but uh, we need to know which class we are going to be running with this car, because according to the V2T uh, classification, up to 2 liters, maximum horsepower, 275. This car factory comes with 300 horsepower. When we put it on a dyno last, it was even more than that. And some people say you can downtune the car and run it V2T. Other people say, no, you're not allowed to. You need to run it with a higher horsepower. You can run with a higher horsepower in a higher class. And other people say, contact DMSB and they're going to decide based on the on your situation if you can run ballast, downtune the car or something, something. So still a bit of headache. We A lot of headache. Uh, we luckily have one more month to go. But uh, yeah, anyhow, today's update. However, we are going to fit, as mentioned, myself in the car, and for that, we grabbed my helmet. So it's going to be the first time I'll be wearing the helmet this year, yay! Um, we had some challenges, actually, with the car, because currently the car has the Recaro SPG, not SPG, but just SPG1 in it, installed, fitted. Uh, we had pole position just for a fit, or why do we have it in yeah. it? So that, this is an old broken pole position, which mm -hmm. I have for a sim rig at home. Mm -hmm. um, I brought that in just to test fit to see if there was a difference in height between... Let's wait for Sergi to go, because this fan's probably going to be loud as he pulls away. Oh yeah, absolutely. Nah, we'll be fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I brought the pole position in just to see if it was a, a big difference in seat base height, because we had some real struggles with height. Yeah. Some real struggles with height. Exactly. So now we have SPG, but... The base Recaro rails that you can buy from Recaro, from any seat, are manufactured in such a way that they're so high that if you are uh, a short person, simply said, with the stock seat or even with the bucket seat, you'll be able to sit in there and see everything. However, when you start involving bucket seat, racing, having necessity to sit as low as possible for the lower central point of gravity and most importantly the cage that you need to avoid then you start running into big problems so when george installed the the ricaro seat rails mounts etc the first time it was like oh my god it's well put it, put it this way with the, with the spg and with my helmet on i'm not exactly very tall i'm i'm five foot nine so that's 
that's not tall, 172 centimetres or something. And my lid was literally, every time I moved my head, it was on the cage, bang, mm -hmm. instantly. Like, mm -hmm. you could be just driving and hit a bump and it's bang on the cage, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I have to say, uh, in my case, it's going to be also, well, it would have been not worked in my case. That's what George is trying to say because uh, I'll be the driving the I'll be driving this thing uh, eventually. And the second driver is even taller than I am. With actual with race cars, you still have quite a little space between the cage and your helmet, but you're running with padding. Anyway, enough talking. Let's just hop in and see how it fits. So, George, I'm gonna hand the camera over to you. Right, let's go, shaky hands, Patterson. Let's see if Rob can dig me out on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's it's, it's, the seat's not bolted down clearly. Exactly, so it's just on the runners, but it's in its position, more or less. This is okay. So, yeah. Warwick, could you please grab my helmet bag? You. So even without the helmet on, with the other, the Recaro seat mounts, you were sitting considerably higher. Yep. Like considerably higher, even without a helmet. So. So as mentioned, first time wearing the helmet, and also seeing if it works with the glasses. And some people have been saying like, oh, you're not wearing your glasses. You don't like them. Well, I don't need to wear them all the time, but for long distance races, that would be good. And some people are gonna say like, hey, you should get a laser surgery. Well, they're actually not that annoying, but we'll see after the first, first race. All right. Yeah? Quite some space. There's quite a bit of space on the top, so it's good. Let me come out the other side. Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's going to be you're going to be harnessed in, so yeah, there's a bit of space. When you're, we'll when just you're run, strapped, we'll run the ultra thin padding along this bar and then the thicker padding along the top bar. Yeah, there's two different types you can get away with. So, plus, when you're strapped inside, you're kind of being pushed lower with the straps sometimes. Yeah. But... And you're not going to be flapping your head around, you're going to have a hands no. device on and hands on, and, and you're going to be all sorted out. So, should be good, hopefully. yeah. So, but it's not too bad. The, I, the position of the driver is good as well. I mean, even you put the door closed, it's pretty good, it works. Cool. Well, I'm excited. It's certainly lower seating position than the OEM seat. So, when do you think you're going to finish it? Um, when well, it's difficult to put a date on stuff at the minute because of the waiting for everything all the time. Mm -hmm. Like when DMS to get DMS B gets back to me, then I can know when where we stand with the class. Mm -hmm. When the rest of the original parts that I ordered turn up, it's just a mess. Mm -hmm. It's a real mess. There's parts that are supposed to have been turned up last week because it's still not here yet. Yeah. So well, it will be done. In definitely time. not next week before it DM. It will be done in time. Whether we have to find some used parts to get it ready, like some different race parts yeah. used to it. Yeah, we'll sort it. Yeah, fine. well, we'll be fine. Not next, not, not for next week before TF. But look at those birds, they are, they are here for TF, I guess. Burp. Burp. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. We get to drive this car, yay! I'm gonna drive it before you, just to annoy you. I'm sure you will. <laughs> <laughs> cool, well, thanks. I'm, uh, I'm excited. Yay. Bor, are you excited? I'm extremely excited. That, that's a French excitement. Wow. <laughs> okay. Le excited. Le excited. <laughs>